A new force of destruction is coming to Rainbow Six Siege in Operation Void Edge, and his name is Oryx. He's a defender, and in addition to crashing through soft walls and sturdy Frenchmen, he can also perform other feats of athletic prowess. Then there's the new attacker, Yana. Don't be alarmed if you shoot her and she disappears. That's just her hologram that looks, moves, and sounds exactly like her. Okay, maybe that's a little alarming. Here's the rundown on the new operators and their gadgets, and a look at what they can do on the newly renovated Oregon map. Let's start with the new Jordanian defender, Oryx, because of the smashing. This is powered by his Rima Dash ability, a quick sprint that lets him move faster than any other operator. With it, he can knock attackers to the ground, including Montaigne and other shield bearers. He can also smash through barricades and unreinforced walls. Keep in mind that while barricades are a breeze, he does take some damage when crashing through a wall, so don't get too smash happy without a friendly dock nearby unless you want to end up losing a 1v1 to wood paneling. Oryx's dash runs on charges. He can use them rapidly to dash a few times in a row, but they take time to replenish, and they reset to zero when you bust through a wall. Gridlock's track stingers and Nomad's air jabs can interrupt his dash, and it takes a moment for him to get his gun back up after dashing. Plus, Oryx's footsteps aren't exactly subtle when he dashes. His ability is more about speed and strength. And he's got one more trick up his complete lack of sleeves. Oryx can jump up and grab open hatches, then either peek at his surroundings and drop down, or pull himself up through the hatch to the floor above. He can't do it on roof hatches, and you'll have to break open the hatch first. So choosing his SPAS-12 primary over his MP5, or his bailiff sidearm over his USP-40 isn't a bad idea. But his climbing ability is independent of his Rima Dash charges, so you can use these two skills in tandem. This makes Oryx a dangerous new defender who will have attackers looking over their shoulders and wondering where he'll show up next. Operation Void Edge is also bringing the attackers their own deceptive new threat, even though it's something that can't hurt the defenders at all. This is the new Dutch operator, Jana, and this is her hologram. Using her Gemini replicator gadget, Jana creates and controls a hologram that looks like her, including her headgear, uniform, and primary weapon skin. Moves like her, with the exception of rappelling or climbing ladders, and sounds like her. While it can't deal damage to enemies or physical objects, it can have serious effects on the defender's survivability. In addition to scouting traps, but not triggering them, Yana can make defenders think she is breathing down their necks, and bait them into throwing their C4, or dupe Smoke or Goyo into triggering their gadgets prematurely. After all, when a defender sees the hologram peek around a corner, or hears it in a hallway, how are they to know it's not the very real and very dangerous Yana? Convincing as it is, the hologram is fragile. One bullet will destroy it, as will electricity or mute jammers. Maestro's evil eyes can zap it as well, and they can detect it's a hologram by the telltale lack of warm body glow. Shooting Yana's hologram does not result in a location ping, as with Alibi's Prisma holograms, and it can't ping locations, scan enemies, or see Vigil when he's using his cloaking device. Plus, Yana can't move while her hologram is active, so defenders are temporarily safe from her ARX-200 or G36C primary weapon or her MK1 9mm sidearm. But she doesn't just have one hologram. The cooldown period is longer if it's destroyed than if she deactivates it, but her hologram will always recharge. Whether she's using it to run solo misdirection plays, or conspiring with teammates in a coordinated push, Yana's deceptions can have deadly consequences. 
There used to be an exterior door here, on the dining hall bomb site on the Oregon map, but it's been removed as part of some key renovations to rework the map. The nearby small office tower has been expanded on both levels, giving defenders more room to work with when keeping attackers at bay. The basement area has also grown, with the dorm stairs now extending down one level and connecting through a new freezer section to the old basement. Operators looking to traverse the attic connector above the meeting hall will have more options, including a redesigned floor plan near the master bedroom and a new exterior second floor window, but the ladder to the first floor has been removed. You'll also find a new hallway connecting the big tower directly to the kitchen, allowing you to bypass the meeting room entirely. Operation Void Edge is also bringing some impactful gameplay updates that you'll want to know about. Changes to barricade damage will make breaking boards more consistent and less obstructive. Attacker drones will now spawn on the same side of the building as the attacker's first spawn location choice. And the player hub will be revamped for improved navigation. These updates, as well as the Oregon map rework, will be free for all players when Operation Void Edge launches. The new operators, Oryx and Yana, will be available at launch for Year 5 Pass owners, and everyone else can unlock them a week later using Renown or R6 credits. For more on Rainbow Six Siege, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.